Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for uh, the Workweek Forecast this week. Um, we're going to take a quick look at uh, what's going to be a uh, relatively normal late summer week. We're going to have a couple of hot or warmer and humid days, a couple chances of thunderstorms, also a couple of days that will have a little bit of a, a early fall feel. We're also going to take a quick look at a couple of tropical systems um, that will be affecting the U.S., both of them probably, this week. Um, so, with that in mind, let's take a quick look and let's look at what's going on uh, in the upper part of the atmosphere. You can see... Um, here we're kind of under a big broad ridge, uh, which has given us our warm weather over the weekend, um, and we'll continue with warm weather today and even into tomorrow. Um, but you can see just way up here in uh, central Canada, the beginnings of a trough that's actually going to move pretty strongly through here with a surface front um, that's going to come through tomorrow afternoon and usher in some significantly cooler air for Wednesday and Thursday before we start to build a ridge back in. Um, towards the weekend potentially. So um, uh, basically the first part, couple days of the week we're looking for looking at real summer-like weather and then uh, Wednesday, Thursday we're looking at kind of fall-like weather and then probably transitioning back towards a little more late summer kind of weather um, for the week. Uh, what does that look like on the surface? Well you can see um, there's a couple of fronts. You've got a front here. This is the front that will kind of move through tomorrow but there's also a reinforcing shot of cooler air and you can see you know here we were in the uh, low to mid 60s this morning um, there's a lot of 40s and 50s um, uh, up here over central Canada that will be sort of headed in our direction. Um, and one of the things that will happen, particularly tomorrow, but also a chance today, um, we'll have some thunderstorms that, uh, that kind of usher in this cooler air as it comes through. Um, let's take a quick look and look uh, a quick look at the work week forecast, and then we'll look at our tropical systems uh, that are going on. So uh, basically today and tomorrow, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. Um, today we have just some chance of some air mass thunderstorms this afternoon. There's not really a front to trigger those, so they won't be real strong. It's going to be muggy, um, but we could add definitely, you could see some uh, showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Um, they'll be kind of hit or miss. Some places won't see any, some places we'll see one. Uh, tomorrow, the there's not a high likelihood of lots of thunderstorms, but any thunderstorm that forms tomorrow, there's plenty of, uh, the front is pretty strong that's moving through, so it will, uh, the chance to trigger a stronger or severe thunderstorm tomorrow is much higher. So uh, those would be thunderstorms. The main uh, threat from those would be strong winds. Um, so just be sort of prepared for that. It's not impossible that you could get a stronger gusty or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Probably you're looking at after uh, anytime between 3 or 4 p.m. through 7 or 8, 9, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Um, and it's possible that a thunderstorm uh, you know, could come through with strong enough winds to take some trees down and things like that. Again, I don't think that'll be widespread, um, but uh, there's definitely a chance of it. There's also a chance we don't, none of those happen to hit southern Vermont. So, um, but we'll just have to keep an eye out on, for those on Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday is a sunny day with lower humidity, cool, highs in the upper 60s. It's going to have a bit of a fall feel. Thursday is a little more gray um, as we kind of have a front starting to approach. And then Friday, um, right now, looks to be uh, still kind of uh, to the north side of a warm front that's headed in our direction. There is a chance by there that Laura. Um, the tropical system, the second tropical system that's going to hit the, the United States this week will be approaching us with some moisture. It will have gone a long ways over land, so there'll be no wind at that point. But there is some chance that we get some moisture, and uh, it sort of depends. Friday, uh, I wouldn't uh, bank too much on Friday's forecast yet. We'll have to kind of wait and see um, how far north the moisture from Laura gets. So with that in mind, let's take a qu quick look at Marco, which is going to come on shore here uh, today. Um, and Marco was a hurricane last night, um, and uh, today does not look that impressive. Um, it's really being sheared apart. The surface low is actually kind of here, um, and it's being sheared to the northeast. Um, the storm itself is actually going to kind of cut across to the west, uh, across the Louisiana coast. Um, basically, it's going to bring some rain. It will bring some gusty winds, but it's not going to be too big of a deal, which is a good thing, um, because uh, this area could get approached uh, soon after that by Laura. Um, you can see Laura was looking really healthy yesterday um, as it came, uh, just moved off of Hispaniola. Um, and today, interaction with Cuba has, and some, uh, some wind shear has pulled it apart a bit. But the problem with uh, Laura is that as Laura emerges back into the Gulf of Mexico, it looks like there will be some uh, uh, really favorable conditions for about two days before it comes on shore. Uh, how rapidly it intensifies um, is definitely, we'll have to wait and see. Um, most of the models at least make it and uh, have it gain strength up to like a category two hurricane, but certainly some of the regional models, especially do bring it to major hurricane status. So um, right now the areas under the gun there, somewhere near the Texas, Louisiana border looks like the most likely landfall, although basically anywhere from South Texas uh, to Eastern Louisiana needs to keep a very close eye on 
Laura. Like I said, Laura's the one also that has a chance to give us some precipitation. That would be late, late in the week, Thursday, uh, maybe Friday or Saturday. Um, also may get sheared out or may get pushed out south of us by a front. Um, we'll have to wait and see, like I said, on that one. But um, tropics are definitely busy right now. We're, we're well into the heart of tropical se uh, the tropical weather season. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that as we continue to go through the summers as we've already seen a lot of storms. Um, and we've already seen a couple storms come through here with at least some rain. So anyway, um, that's what your weather's looking like this week. Thank you to my patrons um, who help support this uh, the page. Um, certainly, if you uh, have an interest in helping support what we do here, you can become a patron. And there's a link in the description below of how to do that. Otherwise, um, we will see you on Thursday for the patrons, Friday for everybody else with, work, with the weekend forecast. Have a good week.